Butterfree is absolutely terrible in competitive Pokemon. Or is it? This final evolution of Caterpie was never intended to be very powerful. It has extremely low stats, and that bug flying typing has a lot of common weaknesses. It's slow and extremely easy to eliminate. I never entertained the idea that Butterfree could have any kind of viable role in Gen 3 OU until I saw these games from my tournament, ADV Revival. In Gen 3, Butterfree gained the ability Compound Eyes, an excellent ability that increases the accuracy of a Pokemon's moves by 1.3 times. Butterfree also happens to have access to Sleep Powder and Stun Spore, two moves that benefit greatly from this ability. Thanks to Compound Eyes, Butterfree's Sleep Powder has an accuracy of 97.5%, and so does Stun Spore. The only other Pokemon that has access to both an accurate Sleep move and an accurate Paralysis move is Smeargle. Since Smeargle can learn any move in the game. But amazingly, Butterfree does have some advantages over Smeargle. Since Butterfree's Stun Spore is a Grass type move, it is able to paralyze ground types. And Butterfree also has a Flying typing, granting it a ground immunity, an immunity to Doug Trio's Arena Trap, and also an immunity to Spikes. The new player Gunsk Prilbus used Butterfree in this tournament game, and it really surprised me. With an advantageous lead matchup right off the bat against Suicune, Butterfree managed to get its early sleep powder and gain a bit of momentum. Butterfree then paralyzed an incoming Magneton with Stun Spore, and this Butterfree also had Rain Dance. By putting an enemy to sleep and gaining a free turn to set rain on the field, Butterfree could then enable, and don't be alarmed when I say this, the Thunder Electrode in the back for Gunsk Prilbus. I don't know how, but this team managed to win against a pretty solid looking Magneton offense. This team would probably have some issues against a standard TSS, especially if Butterfree was forced out on turn one by a threatening lead. But I'll admit that this player's creativity caught my attention and made me reconsider the potential of Butterfree. And then in the very same round of the tournament, one of Gen 3's greatest players, H-Clat, also brought a Butterfree to his set. The team looked ordinary at first, First, with a Tyranitar lead and an Aerodactyl facing down a Skarmory. And then suddenly, h clat double switched into a surprise Butterfree. Since Aerodactyl was inviting in a Rock Resist, h clat knew he could get Butterfree in against a Pokemon that would likely be slower and get that Sleep Powder off. This is similar to how players use Smeargle, double switching it in when you have a powerful threat forcing something out. Butterfree got its crucial sleep. Then, it used Thief to steal a Choice Band from an incoming Aerodactyl. h clats Butterfree didn't have an item equipped to ensure that Thief would remove the enemy's item. The utility of accurate sleep, paralysis, and item removal all on one Pokemon, along with spike and ground immunity, is not completely terrible. This is a real testament to the power of sleep. Sleep alone provides a huge amount of momentum, and removing this Aerodactyl's choice band on top of that made life so much easier for h clad in this game. Butterfree even managed to get back on the field a few more times and sleep some more Pokemon after Swampert had woken up. I don't know if I'll go as far as to say that Butterfree has a niche in Gen 3 OU. That might be going too far. But I expected absolutely nothing from Butterfree. And what I've seen here is some genuine potential. So let's try it out. Let's queue up with Butterfree on the ladder and see what it can provide to our team. I'm going to go ahead and copy h Clat's idea. Aerodactyl spikes with Butterfree sounds alright to me. The last Pokemon was not revealed in this game, but it's probably some sort of rock resist, so I'm going to go with Metagross for the last slot. It seems like it fits with the aggressive pace of the team. Like this video and subscribe to ensure that Iron Fellow, the paradox future form of Spoink, receives appropriate retribution for his various unspeakable acts. Thank you. We're up against a Blaziken lead, and honestly, I am tempted to go to Butterfree because if you hit me with a fighting move, I times four resist and I can sleep you. That's just such a funny idea that I, I want it to happen. You subbed of all things, no! Why would you make an intelligent mid-ground play? Ruining my chances at uh, victory here. Now this is, now I'm in trouble. I didn't expect someone to use Blaziken correctly, that's an uncommon sight. But here we are. I've taught you guys well. You said that's a, that was a good move to sub. We'll go Gengar on what I assume is a fighting type attack. We've got to maneuver around this now. Butterfree will have its moment, don't worry. Do not worry. Overheat for... Are you going to crit that? Well, that's just nonsense. Well, that's just unfair to me and others. It's a minus two Blaziken. That's unfortunate. What's occurring on the Gen 3 ladder? And now here is when you go Butterfree. You're going to preserve Blaziken. 
It's minus two. You're not sacking Blaziken. It's healthy. That's a healthy Blaziken. You're going out to swamp it or something. We're getting Butterfree in. We're sleeping the enemy. And we're going to recover momentum. We're going to get spikes on the field. We're going to thief something. It's going to be great. This is going to be good. There's no spinner on this team. No way. I don't need Gengar. We don't need to spin block here. If you stay, I don't know what, what's happening. There we go. And Butterfree's in on Metagross. And just like that, it's the easiest sleep of my life. Here's Celebi. All right. I'm just... I suppose I'll just thief. Is that smart? What if I sleep again? Yes. I actually... It actually worked. We got him. It was a bit of a mind game there. Sometimes Celebi stays in when you try to sleep on their switch out natural cure. Can be a bit of a mind game, but... Now I'm going to think, look at, the Butterfree's doing well. I just, just stole this choice band. Now that's awesome. All right. So Metagross no longer has a choice band. So Explosion won't KO my Skarmory. I'm going to go ahead and make Spikes. You can Explosion and it won't KO. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. This person's name is BL Challenge. So do we got more BLs in the back? We do. It's Vaporeon, in fact. It's in fact Vaporeon. I'm nervous to protect. Vaporeon could substitute against me. I'm gonna go with raw. Okay. A bit of an overprediction, perhaps, but that's okay. What if I were to uh, explode? Would that be insane of me? Would that be an insane move? Or I could stun spore this and go for like dragon dances. No, that sounds unintelligent. We're gonna go metagross. It's hydro pump. I'm um, so usually offensive Vaporeon uses Celac Berry, but this is hydro pump leftovers. Looks like a homemade set of some sort. We're gonna go. Let's not commit to the explosion quite yet. If it's if we don't have to, let's go. Um, well, why don't we go to Butterfree? <laughs> why don't we use Butterfree for some advantage? What about Butterfree? How about that? You're gonna batten out to Jolteon. Tip no, well Jolteon's sleeping. You're gonna batten out where? Vaporeon. I'm faster than Vaporeon, so I can stun spore it at the very least. Dragonite. Guess who's faster than Dragonite? Butterfree. Ladies and gentlemen, Butterfree is faster than Dragonite, but Sandstorm Water, by the way, is how I know that. Butterfree was hit first. It's Lumberry Ice Beam. All right. <laughs> We're gonna... That's gonna be okay. Because it looks as if Aerodactyl is primed to sweep. Now we know that you have a Lumberry. Thank you, Butterfree, for illuminating such information. You have to understand, Butterfree just consumed a berry, slept at the Jolteon, who otherwise might speed tie with Aerodactyl for a victory. And right here, you might just be sacrificing your only hope. Now, I'm a little frightened to click Rock Slide here, but I think... I think I will. Yeah, there's a chance for speed tie anyway. Low chance to wake up. I think I should just Rock Slide. There's a higher chance that if I switch out, you actually wake up and cause me issues. I think that's smart. I'm a bulky Metagross, and you're a Leftovers Vaporeon, so I think I can... My Metagross can come in here. I'm not running Protect on this Metagross because I felt like Moltres might be a problem, so I put Rock Slide to potentially hit incoming Moltres. Hmm. Now this is rough because I don't want to... I'm frightened to commit to the explosion. Yeah, you're never going to allow me to blow up on Vaporeon, are you? I'll just Meteor Mash. What's this Celebi going to do? Leech Seed? I'm happy to mash in the face of a Leech Seed. That's good damage right there. Maybe I'll just get Tyranitar in on what could be a Recover. Or something else. We're gonna see like sub seed or something. Clearly not HP fire. Calm mind. Yeah, no worries. CM leech. Last move could be psychic or recover. Or it's Giga Drain. All right. Well, I'm gonna outrun this and KO with HP bug, and that's gonna be fine. We're gonna KO, and we can chip this Vaporeon. I guess I'll I'll miss I'll miss Rock Slide here. Just kidding. Oh, we even get the flinch. Arrow would have cleaned up though, so that's not a big deal. But still. Wouldn't you know it? Butterfree has done such such good work. Honestly, sleep in that Jolteon won me the whole game. Because otherwise Jolteon could speed tie with Aerodactyl. And cause me big problems. But in this particular instance, Butterfree has proven the single most powerful Pokemon of all time. And that is not disputable. That is fact. Thank you to the patrons for your continued support. And thank you as well to everyone who has donated to the prize pool for this tournament. Oh,
the money got big, big.